Hi, I'm Gary Voss, the Marketing Director for Audio Technic, and I'm here at Sonic Electronics talking about the 3 to 1 rule. Now, the 3 to 1 rule is a good way to avoid phase issues in using multiple microphones. Now, this can be with multiple individual vocalists, like maybe a backing vocal scenario, or when you're miking a choir. The rule says uh, to take the distance to the nearest sound source and make certain that the next mic is at least three times that distance away. Um, this is pretty easy math. I think everyone can do this. You don't need your uh, logarithmic calculator or anything. Uh, essentially, in a backing group example, let's say your singer is six inches off the microphone. You want to make certain that you're 18 inches apart to your next singer. Uh, in a choir setting where mics are being hung traditionally from above, you may be further, maybe two or three feet from the closest singer. Uh, the mics should then be either six or nine feet apart to avoid these phasing problems and avoid the use, uh, urge to use more microphones. That can just cause all kinds of problems. Now, while phase issues can still be a problem at these distances, the reason this works is the second sound source at that distance is far enough away that the signal from your main sound source is much louder than the second sound source coming in. The reason that this phase problem happens is if you have two voices, you're going into a microphone, you're going in at different times, they're arriving at different times and you get phase cancellation. We're gonna do a quick little demo right after this video to show that. Thanks for watching. Here are two ATM 510 cardioid dynamic microphones placed about 10 inches from my mouth. I'm going to move one to the side and increase the distance, thus demonstrating the three to one rule and phase properties.